going to take you on a real quick walking tour as to why I didn't go outside last night when the fire alarm was going off. We had, at about 3.30, a pretty massive windstorm that didn't set off any fire alarms. And I'm on, I'm near Russell Hall right now with the Curse Building, Business Building, right there. It's about noon, 12.30ish right now. And the storm's long gone, and I don't think we're going to get another one for a while, which is good. I ran into a lady who works for, I don't know, the landscaping thing, I think. And uh, I was talking with her a little bit as I was taking some pictures. And <laughs> her, uh, her view was that this was a really nice campus until last night. You can keep these kind of straight ahead of us. There's a limb down. It's about half the tree, actually. He's down, partially covering the road. There. Sidewalk. I think we're going to go off over here now. You see the camp meal. It looks like the north side of the campus got hit a little bit harder than the south side. I guess that would be expected because it was winds from the north. There's a rather large pine grove up here, and you can kind of see in and around over there, there's a tree down. Not only is it down, I'll show you up close. <laughs> it pretty much uprooted the tree. It didn't throw it, it just uprooted it and rolled it over. There's about four or five trees that I've seen that happen to. They're all pine trees. They just snapped all the roots off. I don't know what that says about pine trees or any other trees. This whole little pine grove has been hit pretty hard. You can see some branches and stuff down. Tops have been snapped off of some of them. And there you can see the roots. Let me come around a little closer. You can see like pretty much the whole tree just fell over. But there's the root system, and that is the hole that it came out of. You can fit all the pieces together. And when it went down, it took bits and pieces of some other trees with it. I don't know how you can see. I can't see my screen very well, but... Continuing up towards the Campanile and the library. I'm going to look in the grove a little bit. You can see there's another tree that's been up and rolled over. Here's the top that came off the tree. Thank you. And there's the tree the top came off of. You see Rod Library ahead of us. And the little trees that have been snapped off and broken. I'm heading back to Bartlett now. Personally, I think that's where most of the damage happened. Or the most concentrated area, I guess. There's a lot of other spots on campus that have broken trees down by Grilled Crisp and, I don't know, all over on that side, but this area is the most, you know, crazy affected, I guess. That's the commons over there. Looks like another tree I haven't gone over to look very hard, but, oh, look, I see the roots up in the air around here. And, can I see the root ball? You kind of have to choose your paths carefully anymore because so many trees are down over the pathways.
I was worried this morning there was some hail I heard last night. I think it was hail hitting my window. That's what got me out of my room. I'm like, no, screw this. And so then this morning around 10, I suddenly remembered the hail. And I was like, oh my gosh, my car. And so I stepped outside on my way down to the parking lot to see my car. And I saw all the trees down. I had no idea that there, were, there was this much damage. So then I got worried because I was like, where did I park my car? Did I park it under a tree? I didn't. It was out in the middle of nowhere, kind of ish. And no, nah, it didn't get any hail damage, which is good. Yeah, there's like a bench and stuff under that tree. I'll show you. There's a crab apple tree. Oh, I don't know what that is. It looks kind of big and concrete-ish. But okay, here's the little patio thing. There's the bench. I think the tree should be like kind of spread over there-ish, but no, it's pretty much. Oh no, the tree should be right there. Should be standing up from there. And there's another one that's still. It's really pretty sad. Alright, come back out of here and go to the main entrance of Bartlett where I'll let you go. have a difficult time going through over that way. We have two trees in the way. Oh, my bike survived okay too. Which is good too. I have a piece of Bartlett sitting in the lawn. I don't know what it is, but yeah. And that pretty much concludes my tour. There's no more trees on the inside of Bartlett. Really. Yeah, not big ones anyways, but... So yeah, this was my eventful night. And I think it was these trees breaking that I was hearing when I stepped outside my door last night. I'm glad we decided not to follow the uh, <laughs> fire alarm. So anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.